the following saga is going to be very strange. This is the spirit science guy. Uh, you know, spirit science. Maybe we've been mistaken. Perhaps there's genuine validity to the idea of psychic. He just He believes in every fucking conspiracy theory ever. This is a two-parter. Sarah found this for me. This... This is really fucking odd, okay? This video is called An Ode to Emma Watson. The Christ Sophia. This is part one. Part two we're also watching. I've... I've gotta be honest with you. This is probably the strangest case study we will have ever done on this channel. And he just decided to film himself. And, of course he has this. We all knew, well, before you saw the spirit science person, you knew his facial hair looked like this. Strap the fuck in, okay? Grab a beverage. Grab some healing crystals, because this guy is really weird. Hi. This is probably going to be one of the strangest videos that I've ever recorded. And it feels right to record it. And maybe even right to post it. So this is kind of setting an intention to, to get there if I can. This video is about Emma Watson and a very strange series of experiences that I've had that have led me to this moment two and a half years ago. I had a psychedelic journey uh, using psilocybin where I had this very profound, realistic vision, experience really, it's like a visionary experience of Emma Watson and I talking. That's mushrooms. He took some mushrooms and imagined Emma Watson. And it was just as if I it was, it was, it was as if I was just there in a room chatting with her. And she was interested in spirituality and, and, and in, in, in talking to me about all manner of different things. And, and we had this really long conversation. And afterwards I was like, huh, that was very interesting. And then about a week later, uh, I did some more psilocybin. This time uh, she was taking me somewhere to help resolve some life challenge and problem that I'd have. And she was like helping me solve it. And I was like, oh, that was also very cool. And I didn't, again, didn't know what to make of it. And it was, it was not a vision that I sought out. You know, I never spent time focusing on or thinking of Emma. I can assure you, this is not a joke. This is, this is this guy's personality. It's, uh, it's gonna get worse, guys. It's gonna get worse. And it's, it's, I, <sighs> Uh, about a year later, I came to Rhythmia for the first time. Now, I'm actually filming this at Rhythmia right now. So the first time I came to Rhythmia, uh, I had a very special intention for myself. I said uh, I wanted to embody the spirit of Christ. Interesting. Once again, it actually started, it was the first night, the first ceremony. Uh, I remember lying down at one point and I just felt this presence, like these eyes staring at me. Is he going to say that Emma Watson apparated into his fucking room? My dude knows she's not an actual wizard, right? What an idiot. And I like sort of, with my mind's eye. With your mind's eye? <gasps> I turned my head, I guess, and like looked over, and it's Emma Watson <laughs> staring at me. And I'm like, hi. And I just pushed away on her. I was like, there's nothing here. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to do. Uh, I don't know what you want, but go away. And I actually like pushed away on her. I was like, no, thank you. You know, and I remember seeing sort of as that energy, as her energy disappear disappeared, there were like fireworks that were exploding. You're high as fuck, my guy. It's just some drugs. I don't, what? <laughs> Why are people so stupid? This guy is so stupid. Like, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't hear from her again for, for two days. And then on the third night, which is actually the goddess night here at Rhythmia, they do a, a very divine feminine, sacred, uh, sacred energy. Look, Emma Watson's good looking. That's fine. I understand having visions of her when you're fucked up. Calm down. 
This is so weird. It gets worse. It was on that night, I had what felt like an hour long vision of this future with her. But it was so incongruent with me and my energy and my perception of myself. This guy just wants to fuck Emma Watson, so he's making a please fuck me Emma Watson video. Huh. And so seeing that vision, I'm like, I have no idea what this is actually supposed to be teaching me, right? Because it's very easy to identify it as, oh, that's a vision of the future. Boom. What do you mean it's easy to, what? Is this what happens when you don't empty your balls regularly? Your brain just swims in a sea of coom and you can't, like your synapses don't fire well because coom is not a good conductor. And so your brain is just fucking swaddled in your miasma of spunk. Like what the fuck? Why is this guy like this? Why is he, why is he the way he is? I don't, is that a waffle on this? What is this? Is this a waffle? They have some waffles? They have another onk over here. What the fuck is going on? For all I know, Emma Watson's never even heard of spirit science. For all I know, she has no idea who I am. And that's, that would be just fine. I just thought about it a lot. So it really, like, cause I, I, I really wanted to understand it and feel it and be like, what, what, what? What? You got high and got a crush on a celebrity. What? Why is this strange? Hey, I get it. Emma Watson is good looking. I get it. But like, calm the fuck down. Yeah. So for the next year and a half, essentially, like leading up to, to, to now, um, I've tried to look at this from the perspective of being like, you know, it doesn't really matter or have anything to do with her. For 500 days, I have obsessed about Hermione Granger. Uh, my self-worth has been really low and it's been really hard to, you know, just like see myself as um, a divine being. And of course- It's hard to see myself as a divine being. I wonder why that might be. Of course, my message and part of spirit science is that we are all divine beings. And I am now realizing and recognizing I have to step into that in order to truly, and this is how I made the visions really like kind of explain them is like, imagine yourself as someone who, who could actually be loved by someone like Emma Watson, who is by all intents and purposes, a divine being. What? What? She's a divine being? What the fuck? It gets worse. And this gonna, is actually- If you're gonna do drugs, don't have cum brain at the same time, chat. I wanted to make this, this video today because last night I did my first ceremony here at Rhythmia, the first night, and the whole first, like you, you normally take two cups of ayahuasca uh, every, every night, and so- What do you mean only two cups of ayahuasca? Do you guys know what ayahuasca is? And, and he had a bad shroom trip, so he's just doing psychedelics every night. This guy has just been on a bender. Uh, I went through this really kind of deep purging of like after, you know, two years of consistently receiving visions. There's a difference between like you're sitting here and then something comes to you, an energy comes to you or an experience in a meditation or even in life, you know, you're existing and someone comes to you versus you going and like projecting your energy out or you're, you're, you're going and finding someone, right? And, and after <laughs> two years of having these experiences, I, I developed a little bit of a, of a, of a, of an attachment to her and, and this is a, so I'm so guys, you know, me, I don't have shame. I'm like secondhand embarrassed about this. This is embarrassing to watch. This is only, I'm telling you, it gets worse. If, if, if all of these visions truly are a potential that can manifest, then, you know, that has to be her choice. You know, like, it, it, I can't force that, and, and of course not. Like, I, I, I couldn't possibly. In fact, my energy naturally is, I, I generally wait for people to come to me anyways, and I've been learning how to say no when the energy's not right in general. So, side note about my growth and evolution lately, because I've gotten into trouble before with 
just people who are very insistent about right, relationship energy and and I just go well the attraction and the affection feels nice so yeah of course even if the vibe wasn't right it's so weird to couch this shit in discussions of like energies it's so fucking gross so I had this letting go and it was really beautiful to experience and afterwards uh, I, I got some some cleansing, some some repe medicine, and uh, and some different uh, you know lotion and shandu. The shamans took good care of me, and and I just felt kind of like free. I felt liberated. I felt really good. And and the shamans, shamans. My guy had shamans around. Apparently, they lotion you. Relationship, if we can call it that, if that's what it is. So I get to be moist and high at all times. Sounds good to me. I went back up to for the second drink, and my, my intention actually kind of got expanded a little bit because my intention going into the night was I want to feel the depths of my emotion. And I don't usually cry. I, I, I cry very little, and I was like, I want to cry. I, I really want to have a sad, crying experience. And so I was just like, I want to feel the depths of my emotion was the intention that I set. I got something a little different, but it was, it was even more amazing than I had planned. And so my intention, um, it's embarrassing me that other people are in the room listening to him say this not nonsense as well. Is that weird? Is it weird? For, like, like I, I just want to reach out and be like, dude, stop. It's fucking strange. But basically, I, she was like, what is your intention? Before she administered the rapé. And I was like, uh, well, it's like I want to know Jesus and I feel the depth of my emotion. Can we find a shorter version? And she's like, let's pray. And so we, we came together in, in prayer. And then it just sparked in my mind. Christ Sophia. And I asked everybody who I, who I spoke with later on the night, because I was sharing the story a few times, Christ Sophia, are you familiar with that term? Nobody knew what it was, which meant, told me like, I have to open up and share this. Christ Sophia is the woman Christ. It is the, it is the female Jesus. It is the embodiment of Christ in woman. And that is a, 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 an ancient Gnostic and Greek mystery school tradition and philosophy and teaching and energy and person that was written out of history after the Roman Catholic Church or the Roman Catholic Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, took over and destroyed all of the Greek and Gnostic mysteries and philosophies and wrote them out of history. And so the Christ Sophia has really been lost uh, for, for, for so long. Okay, okay, so last night he had this. Last night, okay? This is interesting. Last night he had this this experience and then he prays with some sort of shaman or some shit and then he's like "Ooh, christ sophia christ sophia what does that mean i don't know what christ sophia means and he goes out and he he asks he asks a bunch of people and then he finds out what it is and then conveniently he has already read a book about christ sophia and is willing to to send it to you Interesting. Very strange that he already has read a book about this and he knows what Christ Sophia is. Very fucking weird. How do you, how, like, does anyone in their right fucking mind that is actually paying attention to the words coming out of his dumb fucking face, like, understand this kind of shit? Christ Sophia became the intention and it was like that, because Jesus, I was talking to him and he was like, well, what do you want to know? He's like, you know me so well already. What, what, what more do you want in this moment? And I was like, I don't know. I just thought I'd call you in because everyone else was doing it. <laughs> yeah, he's just just talking to Jesus. You know how it goes. Just hanging out with Jesus. Like it's super normal. And and he helped me say basically say, look, you, you know the masculine Christ. It's time for you to learn the feminine Christ. And so that really shaped my attention. The two genders, masculine Christ and feminine Christ. I called that in and I drank the medicine and I, I you know, and I, I did the rapé and I was laying down, and so much of the night was, Emma came back. And this time, it was different. It was just in a way of like honoring her as the Christ Sophia. And, and this knowing that I had to make a video to declare by the power vested in me that Emma Watson is the embodiment of Christ in woman. And I think that's so amazing, and I, I, I had to make a video to share that and to say thank you. Emma Watson, if you're watching this, please know that you are so loved and so beautiful. And thank you. Thank you so much. Please suckle on my balls. I'm so happy to finally be able to share this. It's been such a confusing time 
for several years not knowing what to make of this. <laughs> There's, there's so much more I could share, but this is the core essence. Dude, he of just the wants to—he just wants to fuck Emma Watson. What I was called to, to share. So this is all it thank is. Thank you very much for everybody listening, and thank you, Emma. You are truly a gift and a blessing on this world. Namaste. Namaste. You can't even be consistent with whatever the fuck you believe. Namaste. What? Ugh. Okay, boy. Now, that happened, and he made a follow-up video to it. Called Healing Toxic Se Sexuality. Christ Sophia Part 2.